We are at the National Quartet Convention, standing with me, the members of Praise Incorporated, and standing right next to me is Steve Sam. Steve, welcome to Gospel Music Today. Thank you so much. It's uh, our pleasure to be here. We have, uh, uh, we've, we've heard you guys many times and seen a lot of your videos across the country, so it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. I'm going to have you introduce sure. the rest of the group. My pleasure. This guy right here, he's been with me. He's been with me almost since the beginning, and he sings tenor for us. His name's Ron Higgins. This one here used to be a tenor. Now he's a baritone, and he's and uh, <laughs> he's he and I've known each other about 13 years. He's Dodd Meadows, and he's out of Toler, Texas. And that and back there, we grabbed him out of the north. He came from Buxton, North Dakota. Oh, yeah. That's right. They got bases up there, so we got, we brought him down here. And uh, his name's Greg Bars. How long has Praise Incorporated been going? We're starting our seventh year in mm -hmm. April, and uh, it's a. Uh, it's been a long haul <laughs> trying to figure out what we need to do to get what we did, but we just kind of depend upon God to get us there, and it's worked out so far. And you're doing a couple hundred dates a year? Yes, we are. Sometimes more, sometimes a little less, but it's always right in that area. Okay. Is that officially full-time? Oh, we are. We've been full-time yeah. for four years now okay. wow. out of that. So it's a... Uh, uh, and we do not only that we do a lot of revivals and stuff when we preach and we do the whole shebang so they get they get a, a big bang for their, their for their buck <laughs> <laughs> when we come Good in that's right but uh, we we do real well up in New York and Vermont and we're fixing, matter of fact, we leave here and go there so we'll be six days in Vermont and uh, six days in New York and then heading back towards home again right. now you guys just took a big step uh, with your uh, signing with Manor House. We Tell did. me about that. We actually signed with the mansion last year when we were here, but they weren't properly in place to do the things they needed to do at that time. So when Bill Dykes and Bill Trailer came on, they, they, were, they started that, and uh, they've made a big buzz for us especially uh, in it. So we signed with the Manor House label on a three-year contract with them, and we expect big things. We got our first CD out with them, and, and we expect big things out with them. Tell me about that CD. Well, it's called It's All About Him, and it's a, it's a brand new song. Matter of fact, they're going to release it here pretty soon, and uh, it's, uh, I think you'll like it. It just tells people that it's not about everything outside. It's just all about Jesus, and uh, it's a powerful song. Let me just reach past you and ask these guys sure. uh, a quick question. How did you get involved in Southern Gospel singing? Actually, I started, uh, I hate to say this, I'm showing my age, 22 years ago I sang with my first quartet, uh, actually as a high lead singer, and then um, I just saw an ad in the paper there in Fort Worth, where we're from, Fort Worth, Texas, and answered the ad and started singing back then, and um, always felt a calling on my life, I guess even from a, from a child, uh, to know that there was something for me to do to go out and, and share what Christ has done in my life. And it just happens to be we have a song to do it with. What brought you into Southern Gospel singing? Well, I came into Southern Gospel by way of country music. I played country music since I was about six years old. Uh, in 96, uh, God got a hold of me and changed my life and uh, found a different path for me to use the talent he blessed me with. And uh, I met Steve uh, actually answering an ad in the paper uh, looking for a, 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 a form in a group and he and I actually auditioned for the same part <laughs> in, a, in another group and uh, ended up he got the lead part and I ended up getting the tenor part even though I had never sung tenor at the time <laughs> and uh, but God just took that and, and really blessed the opportunity and now we here we are like 12 years later uh, <laughs> together again so. <laughs> but God just keeps providing the way so let me get the northern uh, delegation on, a little uh, closer. <laughs> Who's your all-time favorite bass singer? Oh, man, that's a loaded question. You ought to know better than to ask me that. Um, I have several. Uh, I like Tim Riley real good. Always was a George Allen's fan. Of course, J.D. And uh, Gerald Williams. I mean, the list goes on and on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, I, like, I like them all. Great names. Uh, Praise Incorporated website www.praiseinc.com. You'd be surprised how many to put I-N-K in there, but it's I-N-C.com. And uh, it, go there. We'll answer anything you've got on there. It's got anything you can possibly want on there. And uh, it's a good place. To all the members of Praise Incorporated, thanks for talking to us on Gospel thanks Music Today. Thanks for having us Thank on. Thank you so much. God bless you. There's more coming up on Gospel Music Today.